So in this video, I'm going to discuss the relationship between f and f inverse. So given fx is equals to 1 over x minus 3, the f inverse is equals to 1 over x plus 3. And we have the diagram on the right hand side. So the domain for f, we have to refer to the denominator. Since this is a reciprocal, so the denominator cannot be equals to 0. So meaning that x minus 3 cannot be equals to 0 and x cannot be equals to 3. So the domain for f would be equals to negative infinity until 3 where 3 is not included union 3 until infinity. Next, we are going to focus on the f inverse. The domain for f inverse. So as we mentioned earlier, the domain for f inverse is equals to negative infinity until 0 union 0 until positive infinity where the 0 is not included. So stated, the domain for f would be negative infinity until 3 union 3 until positive infinity where the 3 is not included. The domain for f inverse would be negative infinity until 0 union 0 until positive infinity where the 0 is not included. By referring to the graph, okay, by referring to the graph on the right hand side, we notice that the domain for f or we can say the range for f inverse actually is equals to negative infinity as a minimum value until 3 union from 3 until positive infinity so where 3 is not included so as we can see their relationship so actually the domain for f which is equals to negative infinity until 3 union 3 until infinity where 3 is not included actually it is equals to range for f inverse and we also can say that the domain for f inverse which is equals to negative infinity until 0 union 0 until positive infinity where the 0 is not included actually is equals to range of f so I repeat the domain for f actually equals to the range of f inverse the domain of f equals to the range of f inverse okay so for more details kindly refer to the diagram so that is their relationship so here we are and thanks for watching